Thanks to the supporters of channel member Raymond Golding. Well, today we play Barcelona. Hello and welcome to part 143 of Born Again. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we face Barcelona in the Champions League at Milking Nook. Since you were last with me, and we have already played Barcelona once, we went to their place and lost 2-1. Soma scoring at the new Camp. You probably all still hate him, though. Um, in fact, he's scored far more frequently than Gomez recently, even though Gomez is still my starting striker in the Premier League. But Soma scored there. Um, Soma did start in the Champions League game because... I've been starting him in champ. He seems to have taken to the Champions League much more comfortably than he has the Premier League. Um, he's got basic English now. To be fair to him, um, he's got seven goals from 13 starts in the Premier League. It, there's not, not a lot to be sniffed at there, is there, really? Um, Ten goals from 21 starts in all competitions. If anything, he's been better in the Premier League than the Champions League, and I've got it all twisted backwards. But he's a good player. He's going to be a very good player for us. Um, but... We've, uh, we've also been getting good performances out of Cerna Jackie, as you would expect. And this is what the Premier League looks like. We are still in a Premier League title race. It's a bit of a long shot, uh, but we've got a game in hand over Manchester United and we're only eight points behind them. And I think we still play them. No, we don't. We play Arsenal. What is it with us and getting these horrible last days? Arsenal and Man City as our last two games means we're probably not actually in a title race. But if we were to win our game in hand, that puts us to 68 points, which would put us five points behind United with seven games to go. It's unlikely, but not impossible, that we can win the league from there. So we're still in a title race. We're very much still in a might not finish in the Champions League spots race as well. And of course, our run in the Champions League this year is probably coming to an end today. But you never know. You just never know, do you? Past Kev thinks we should play Soma rather than Gomez. We're going with Gomez. It's a big game. It's arguably the biggest game in our history, and he is Mr. Big Game Player. Um, so we're going to play Gomez today against Barcelona. Soma got to play the first leg, and although he did score, we're going with Gomez today. We have got um, both De Silva and Addo suspended for this game, which is far from ideal, um, because it means we're uh, we're having to play young Nixon Burke at centre-back in this game. He's barely started a game for us in his career um, he started 10 games in total since arriving at Bourne um, and he only started five when he was at Burnley previously. So it's only the 16th start of his young career. But he is a 21-year-old English wonder kid. He's got, he's got to start getting into the team at some point, age 21, although he is fickle. This might be a coming-of-age moment for Sam Nixon-Burke. Let's just cross fingers and hope this is a team good enough to beat Barcelona. We know Cerna Jackie on his day could beat them single-handedly. It's just whether or not today is going to be his day. So we're going with Paquita in goal. A back four of Giladucci, Diaz, Nixon, Burke and Arango. Benia at the base of the midfield. Samiento and Steinman ahead of him. Cook and Cerna Jackie supporting Christian Gomez. A lot of pressure on Gomez's shoulders today because Soma, Soma's the man who's been in form. Soma's the man who's been scoring goals. But I just can't help but think, in a game as big as this one. And I am definitely being swayed by the comments section here because if I play Gomez and we lose, then I can't be yelled at for not playing Gomez. Whereas if we play Soma and lose, you lot will never let me hear the end of it. So I would argue there's a chance we're weakening the team just for an easy life just so you don't have to pick on me. Just because you don't see how good Soma is in between the episodes. It's it's like a Pavlov situation all over again where I see him play brilliantly, constantly. But we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think, I think you'll all fall in love with Soma eventually when he starts scoring goals as regularly as Gomez does, which, I mean, goal per game ratio, he's already there. He just needs to start showing up in these bigger games which I suppose I need to play him to let him do that. But Cook's in behind here. We, of course, have the away goal from the first leg. Gomez is there. Can't quite get his shot away. Um, the away goal, of course, scored by Soma. But that won't make you like him. I, I realise that. Giladucci now with the long throw. Looking for Cerna Jackie. Can't find him. But Benia picks it up on the edge of the area and sprays it out to Steinman. who's in space. Finds Gomez. And Gomez has scored. I told you he was the number one striker at the club. 
You wouldn't listen. It's born one Barcelona nil on the night. A 16th goal of the season for Christian Gomez. And what an important one because it's the goal that puts us ahead in the tie. one nil on the night, 2-2 two, two on aggregate. But with us having that away goal. And this could be the greatest night in the history of this football club. We've taken the first step in the right direction. We just need to not mess it up from here. They've got a player called Deman. That is a great name for a player. I want to sign him. I want to have Deman in our team. Um, oh, I'm I'm nervous now because I know the chances of us keeping a clean sheet against Barcelona are relatively slim. Although we've had 72% of the possession in the first 30 minutes. We've, uh, we've battered them. But they're, they're surely not going to let us keep battering them for the entire game. And now they've got a set piece on the edge of our area. It's cleared-ish. But they've still got the ball and Deman is there. But heads over. Big miss from Deman. I'm not going to get tired of that throughout this game. They've also got a player called McGreevy, which is a, a good a good Catalan name. I imagine he's... Uh, I, imagine, I, I would imagine he's Scottish with a name like McGreevy. M. McGreevy. Martin McGreevy. Um, right, Diaz with another long throw. Looking for Serna Jackie again. Can't find him. Steinman picks it up, though. Bonilla back out to Diaz, who's not the ideal man to be crossing in this situation. So he plays it into Steinman, who's sort of dawdled on the ball, lost out. And, of course, Diaz is forward, and it's Costas. And they've got a player called Steve, as well as their player called Martin. And Steve Newell has got his 29th goal of the season for Barcelona. Uh, to draw them level, wipe out our away goal, and of course put them ahead in the tie as well, which means we don't want to see any of that. Those of you who say long throws are an exploit, it cost us doing a long throw there. So it comes, it, it works both ways. If Diaz isn't forward taking the long throw there, he may be back defending that. So yeah, we, we're not, I, I would say that means it's not an exploit, the fact that it backfires so often. Um, Serna Jackie's not playing well. Samiento's tired. I'm getting Soma on for Samiento. Even though we've got Fabio, who would be the obvious one to bring on because he's the support striker. We we don't want support. I've got to leave Serna Jackie on, even though he's not having a good game. Cook can come off though, and Janino can come on on that left hand side. And we have got goals in that front four now. Lots and lots of goals in our front four. We just hope that they arrive. Um, Barcelona are overwhelmed by the feedback from their manager. We're demanding more. <sighs> we've got Ariel and we've got Fabio. Which one of them are we throwing on to try and win us this game? I think whoever it is is coming on for Arango. And we're really, really going for it. Um, oh, because Arango's tired. So I think what we're going to do is shuffle the defence around a little bit and kind of do this. I'm almost tempted to leave him. Let's stick someone else up there. We've got to go for it. We'll probably just have him as a fullback on support. Tell both of these two to stay back a little bit more than they normally would. Diaz can do that. And then Bonilla is going to have to... We almost want him like a halfback, getting back in between. But we want Gomez in the middle of this. And we're going to bring Fabio on. In fact, we might put Fabio in there as like a pivot point. And have these two either side of him in their natural advanced forward roles. Left-footed Soma, right-footed Gomez. We're going all-out attack. This is madness. And for a cherry on top, let's get Paquita forward as well. And just absolutely load everybody forward. Because if we grab a goal... It will be absolute insanity. The thing is, if we score in the 81st minute, there's not much way to make this a more defensive option. We've used all our subs. We are just absolutely rolling the dice and going for it here. But 
never let it be said again that I didn't change the system and didn't go attacking and could have done stuff to try and win the game. I've just done stuff to try and win the game. What has just happened? There's no accounting for that. I mean, what has just gone on? Bakita has just gone for a walk. You can't blame the changes I've just made for that. Diaz had it completely under control. It's not the fact that he's there on his own. He has that completely under control. Bakita has just had an absolute nightmare. I can't even get my head around what we've just seen. And now they're going to score again because Bakita's forward. Why would he not run for the ball? He was the closest man for the ball there. Why does he not run for it? Oh, he's hit the post. Amazing stuff. Bakita should have done a slide tackle on the way back there. Well, I sometimes the game just decides you're not going to win. And it decided today we weren't going to win and just gave us a ridiculous... A ridiculous piece of goalkeeping. We've gone out to Barcelona. We can't be too distraught by it. But the way it happened hurt. We now have an FA Cup quarterfinal to try and make up for it. So a few changes being made for the whole game in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Um, De Silva comes back in, back in alongside Diaz. I've decided to leave Paquita in the team, even though I was very close to just playing Beagles. But Beagles isn't match fit, and that's the only thing stopping me from playing him. Oh, Paquita made me cross. Addo's back as well, so he can come in to make this midfield three, which tends to be the midfield three I use now. Um, I know it's quite defensive, but it's 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 solid. And Addo does get forward. Steinman does get forward. Um, it does mean Samiento, Ricardo, Ariel are all missing out on being able to play in that role. But Addo, who we signed to play here, does that very, very well and is arguably the best player at the club. Um De Silva and Addo are considered the two best players in the Dream Eleven, um, ahead of Serna Jackie. In fact, if we go and show you what I mean, if we go to the Premier League media Dream Eleven, and we have got a few players in it now, or well, we did. Well, that's changed. Last time I looked at this, Serna Jackie was in it. Um, but when we look down here, Addo's our best player. Oh, then Arango. Before, it was Addo and De Silva. But, so that would mean there's three players that we've got who are better than Serna Jackie, theoretically. Um, we're building a very, very good team. Arango is now considered our best player. Well, I never. Um, so, did I finish introducing the team? I don't think I did. Soma came in up front as well for Gomez, who drops down to the bench. Um, as I want to show you, I want to show you Soma having a good game. And playing against Hull you would think this is an opportunity for Soma to go out there and bang in a few goals. And that's hopefully what he's going to do. Um, Hull have lost three of their last five games. Let's go pile on the misery. We need we need a big win to, to get our heads back on right again after what's just happened against Barcelona because oh, getting knocked out in the first knockout round of the Champions League, regardless of who you're playing, it's a bit of a blow when you've got title aspirations of your own. Imagine if we get knocked out of the FA Cup now as well. We'd be left with just a real long shot at the league to play for and still a risk that if our confidence goes, we might not even end up in the Champions League next year. This could turn from being, at the start of the episode, what looked like it could be a fantastic run-in to the most disastrous season, arguably, of the save so far. Can we have 10 minutes of passion, please? I don't want a disaster season. Cook does well to keep hold of the ball there. He's got Giladucci on the overlap, but decides to give it to Addo instead rather than using him. Bonilla now um, is spraying it out to Arango on the right-hand side. Arango looking to get the crossover, finds Cook, but he couldn't apply the finish. And we need a goal and we need one soon or else I'm going to start getting stressed out. And when I start getting stressed out, I start making poor decisions as you, as you saw in the Barcelona game with that monstrosity of a tactic that we ended up using that obviously didn't work. Oh, right. Hull have got the ball 
for a free kick. Hopefully, the reason we're seeing this as a highlight is because we're winning it back from them and not that they're going to pass it through every player and score a wonder goal. There is the winning back of the ball from De Silva. Cook has got the opportunity to run, but runs straight into Arango. He was just in his way. Steinman now to Benia. Addo again. And now... Uh, Giladucci, Cook, this is some nice football. Giladucci's in acres of space and we actually use him this time. Giladucci trying to get it onto his right foot for the cross. Does it? And there's Serna Jackie. Oh my goodness. Where would we be without that man? Where was he against Barcelona? More to the point. Where was that performance? Tell me he's not someone who shies away from the big game. He's far more consistent than any other player we've got at the club. But... He doesn't turn up and smash teams in big games the way Gomez does. I'm going to check him at half time and just check that he's not got the doesn't like big games trait. I think we'd have noticed by now if he did. Son of Jackie with the corner finds De Silva and De Silva heads just wide. But that was a that was a good opportunity for him. Let's We're going to get aggressive and say, look, come on, we're supposed to be winning this. This was supposed to be a confidence boosting big win. What's going on? Um, Son of Jackie, let's just have a look at his report. Um, no mention oh there you go he enjoys big matches well that's alright then as long as he enjoys him did you enjoy yourself against Barcelona Mita where were you where were you when we needed you I realise we need you today and you've turned up today so I can't be too harsh on you Hull have had one shot two shots but at that point they'd had one shot and scored it come on boys demand more this is not acceptable. Hole now with a goal kick. Hopefully we're winning it straight back. It's going to land on Giladucci. Nods it forward to Addo, who was very, very close to Cook again. They are getting in each other's way. Um, Steinman just faffing it. That's set twice in this episode. Steinman's just faffed around too much on the ball and giving it away. It's a problem. Luckily, Bakita gets him out of trouble there. But Steinman just needs to, to faff less. He's good enough. He is an elite midfielder. He is good enough to not stand there in the opposition's half, back to goal, faffing, waiting for something to happen. But that's what he keeps doing. I don't know if it's because Cern and Jackie constantly cuts inside so he doesn't have him to play outside of outside of him. But he's got a Rango there. He's got uh, Bonilla deep of him. Soma's done really well here. This is great stuff from Soma. But the, uh, the shot is straight at the whole goalkeeper and the frustration continues. Demand more again. Let's have a look at the bench. We're bringing Gomez on. That's Beagles, not Gomez. We're bringing Gomez on for Soma um, and we're going to take off Addo. Addo's been frustrating today and I think we're going to bring, yeah, we will bring Ricardo on for him just to push forward a little bit more. And hopefully this highlight is leading to a goal for us. It's Diaz. Do not kick it back towards the goalkeeper. We know what happens then. Addo, with probably his final contribution to the game, gives it to Cook, who's cutting inside again. Cook is playing as a winger, but he's cutting inside constantly. Cerna Jackie, with Arango on the overlap. Arango couldn't get the cross in, but Cerna Jackie's picked it up and also couldn't get the cross in. Plays it across to Steinman, back to Benia. Steinman again, back to goal. Probably going to start faffing. Steinman again. Turn around. Face the goal, Jim. Face the goal. You're a box-to-box -box midfielder. Arango with the cross. Cook is there. And Soma scores. An 11th goal of the season for Ricardo Soma. You still don't like him. I know you still don't like him. But that's a good finish. And it's a, it's a proper Christian Gomez-style goal as well. I just associate Gomez with the slide tackle goal. And Soma's got one of his own there. And probably it's going to feel a little bit hard done by to be taken off now. But unless, in fact, let's not proceed with the changes. We'll leave Soma on. We are still going to take off Addo. Um, so Ricardo can come on for him. But I think we'll also take off Steinman and bring on... Do I really want to bring Ariel and Ricardo together in there? I don't know that this is going to work. We could have them both as Mazalas. What a day to experiment. One on attack, one on support. Let's see how that works. It probably it probably doesn't work. Well, I've done it on the as the central midfield positions on a diamond before. So it might work. Cook can come off for Fabio for the final change. Get some uh, more game time into Fabio as we start to decide 
if and how and when we're going to use him. He's he's not been anything special yet, but then he wasn't intended to be anything special. He was an £11 million signing that was brought in to just give us some cover in multiple positions. I think Serna Jackie's gone for the overhead kick there and has been fouled as part of it, and it's Bonilla to step up and take the penalty. Proof that Gomez is no longer on penalties for us. Um, I think it goes Addo, then Bonilla, then Gomez, and they're all as useless as each other at taking penalty kicks. How hard is it to score a penalty Maybe time to get Serna Jackie back on penalties, but he was taken off like two seasons ago because he was constantly missing. We're just not very good at penalties. Soma's done brilliantly here, um, but it goes just wide from the mazy run from Soma. I'm just going to drop back to, to positive. I was aiming for balanced. I'm comfortable with positive. We just don't want to mess it up. And um, we haven't messed it up, but goodness me, did we make hard work of it? We've done the. We've done the we got away with it a bit team talk because we really did get away with it a bit. If we'd have been playing against anybody any good, our FA Cup runs over there. As it is, we've made it into the semi-final, which is handy because it keeps throwing money at us as we continue to push towards trying to be back in the black. Every time we get back in the black, we get pulled back into the red again because we only play in front of 16,000 people. The ground is a big problem for us. Um, but we do now know we've got an FA Cup semi-final to come. We don't know who we're playing. When is that drawn? If it's drawn like now, we'll stick around and show it. It's drawn tomorrow. So let's do the F let's do the FA Cup semi final draw. So at least we know who we're playing. Um, but that'll be what we come back for in tomorrow's episode. We'll be back for the FA Cup semi final and one of the games either side of it. Am I gonna have to am I gonna have to stop the recording for a second to get to this? Come on. Give me the FA Cup semi final. Come on. Here we go. Are we getting it now? No, it's 8 a.m. It's probably not going to be an 8 a.m. One moment. Here we go then. FA Cup semi final. Um, so it's us, Manchester United, Watford, Leicester, Birmingham. So I guess there's one of those games that. So it's Birmingham or Leicester. We just want to avoid Manchester United. If we avoid Manchester United, we're happy. Anyone but United. That'll do. Birmingham or Leicester. So we actually still don't know who we're going to be playing. Um, so it could end up being uh, both us and Manchester United going for a domestic double this season, which would be interesting. But we'll be back tomorrow for whichever one of them we end up playing and probably the Wolves game. And then hopefully we finish off the season with a double. Wouldn't that be a turnaround? If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.